Depending on one in 2008. Houses are so cheap. Both, you're so cute. Hello? Penny, I don't have much time. Wait, what the hell is going on? Yes, I was waiting on it. <laughs> it's fucking taking now. This is the first Disney movie, Dave, where a protagonist dies because they get shot by a gun. What? Yeah. Synapses. Chantra. Oh my god, it's a dog. He's pretty super. He got a tattoo. Less science. I like her Beetlejuice leggings. She probably listens to a lot of Weezer. Get him, Bolt. Good boy. Oh, what bad boy. Lake Rogue Aguado. Lake Rogue Aguado. Lake Rogue Raguno. I have to say, this is not what I expected this movie to be. <laughs> Bolivia. Waze, take me to Bolivia. Bolt. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Man, this is dangerous. That dude's dead. Yeah, oh yeah. They have to hire these guys Maybe. under the table, right? Like no one will know they're missing. Four. Sit down on the back of the bus. Ain't nobody looking out the window of that bus, is it? No, Miss Brucey. Roll that bus window back up. We're gonna have a little bit of a delay coming off the tarmac. There are about 20 helicopters uh, battling a dog. Bolt is like Dr. Manhattan in Watchmen. He can kill so many people. So how many deaths are we up to right now? We gotta be at least 100 in the game. Straight up Jessica Rabbit. Look at her bending over like that. As, 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 as. Too much over where? It's gonna be hot. Shut up. Man, I don't need a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Time to feed my babies. <laughs> if they've seen the next one. it in your hand. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it! Get! Gotta get, get! Gotta get, get! Gotta get, 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 get! You wanted me calling me all Happy Lama Sad Lama Mentally Disturbed Lama Super Lama Drama Lama Big Fat Mama Lama 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 Who is this big Lama Starting all this drama It's me bitch Yes I am that Lama That Lama you despise With those big ass eyes And the malicious thighs I mean Yes look at me I'm that An American soldier serving in World War II had just returned from several weeks of intense action on the German front lines. He had finally been granted R&R and was on a train bound for London. The train was very crowded, so the soldier walked the length of the train looking for an empty seat. The only unoccupied seat was directly adjacent to a well-dressed middle-aged lady and was being used by her little dog. The war-weary soldier asked, Please, ma'am, may I sit in that seat? The English woman looked down her nose at the soldier, sniffed, and said, You Americans, you are such a rude class of people. Can't you see my little Fifi is using that seat? The soldier walked away, determined to find a place to rest. But after another trip down to the end of the train, found himself again facing the woman with the dog. Again, he asked, Please, lady, may I sit there? I'm very tired. The English woman wrinkled her nose and snorted. You Americans, not only are you rude, you are also arrogant. Imagine. The soldier didn't say anything else. He leaned over, picked up the little dog, tossed it out the window of the train, and sat down in the empty seat. 
The woman shrieked, railed, and demanded that someone defend her, and chastised the soldier. An English gentleman, sitting across the aisle, spoke up. You, sir, you Americans do seem to have a penchant for doing the wrong thing. You eat holding the fork in the wrong hand. You drive your autos on the wrong side of the road. And now, sir, you've thrown the wrong bitch out the window. <laughs>